and Prejudice, by Jane Austen. About the author. Jane Austen was an English novelist known for her keen observation of society and her mastery of wit and irony in her works. Austen began writing at an early age, producing stories, plays, and poems. Her literary career blossomed in the early 19th century with the publication of her novels, which often depicted the lives of the English landed gentry in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. Despite Austen's modest success during her lifetime, her works gained widespread acclaim and popularity in the decades following her death. Some of Austen's most famous novels include Sense and Sensibility, 1811 Pride and Prejudice, 1813 Mansfield Park, 1814 Emma, 1815 Northanger Abbey, 1817 and Persuasion, 1817. Her novels are characterized by their sharp social commentary, insightful characterizations, and witty dialogue, which continue to captivate readers worldwide. Austen's writing often explores themes such as love, marriage, social class, and the role of women in society. Her heroines, including Elizabeth Bennet from Pride and Prejudice, and Emma Woodhouse from Emma, are celebrated for their intelligence, wit, and independent spirits. In the years following her death, Austen's works gained increasing recognition and critical acclaim, cementing her reputation as a literary icon. Her novels have been adapted into numerous film, television, and stage adaptations, and her influence on English literature and culture endures to this day. Austen's keen insight into human nature and her timeless stories continue to resonate with readers of all ages, ensuring her place in the pantheon of literary greats. Significance of the title The title, Pride and Prejudice, holds significant thematic and symbolic weight within Jane Austen's novel, encapsulating key elements of the narrative and the character's development. Pride is a central theme explored throughout the novel, particularly through the characters of Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth Bennet. Both characters initially exhibit prideful attitudes. Darcy's pride manifests as arrogance and aloofness, while Elizabeth's pride is rooted in her intelligence and independence. Their pride often leads to misunderstandings and misjudgments of others. Prejudice, are preconceived judgments based on incomplete information or biased beliefs, is another thematic pillar of the novel. Characters such as Elizabeth and her family members initially form prejudices against individuals like Mr. Darcy and Mr. Bingley due to their social status or perceived character flaws. These prejudices influence their interactions and relationships, leading to conflicts and misunderstandings. The title reflects the journey of the two main characters, Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy, as they confront and overcome their respective flaws of pride and prejudice. Through their interactions and experiences, both characters learn to reassess their initial judgments and develop a deeper understanding and appreciation for each other. Elizabeth's growth, in particular, involves recognizing her own prejudices and acknowledging the consequences of her prideful assumptions. Similarly, Mr. Darcy undergoes a transformation realizing the errors of his prideful behavior and endeavoring to become a better person. The title underscores the impact of pride and prejudice on interpersonal relationships within the novel. It highlights how these qualities can hinder genuine communication, breed misunderstandings, and create barriers to meaningful connections. 
through various relationships depicted in the novel, including those between romantic couples, family members, and acquaintances, Austin explores the detrimental effects of pride and prejudice on individuals and their interactions. Beyond its immediate context, the title, Pride and Prejudice, resonates as a reflection of universal human tendencies and flaws. Austin's exploration of pride and prejudice transcends the specific social milieu of Regency-era England, offering timeless insights into the complexities of human relationships and the importance of humility, empathy, and open-mindedness. In summary, the title, Pride and Prejudice, serves as a succinct encapsulation of the novel's central themes, character dynamics, and overarching message about the transformative power of self-awareness and empathy. It remains emblematic of Jane Austen's keen insight into human nature and her enduring relevance as a literary voice. Summary of the play, Pride and Prejudice Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen is a beloved classic novel that revolves around the lives of the Bennett family, primarily focusing on the second eldest daughter, Elizabeth Bennett. Set in early 19th century England during the Regency era, the novel explores themes of love, marriage, social class, and personal growth. Volume 1 the novel begins with the arrival of Mr. Charles Bingley, a wealthy and amiable bachelor, in the neighborhood of the Bennett family at Longbourn. Mrs. Bennett, eager to marry off her five daughters to eligible suitors, hopes that one of them will capture Mr. Bingley's heart. At a local assembly, Mr. Bingley is immediately taken with Jane Bennett, the eldest daughter, while his friend, Mr. Fitzwilliam Darcy, a wealthy and proud aristocrat, appears aloof and disdainful. Elizabeth Bennet, known for her intelligence and wit, forms a negative opinion of Mr. Darcy based on his haughty demeanor and remarks. Meanwhile, Mr. Bingley's sisters and Mr. Darcy discourage his growing attachment to Jane due to her inferior social status. Mr. Bingley abruptly leaves Netherfield, his rented estate, causing distress to Jane and disappointment to Mrs. Bennet. Mr. Darcy's apparent role in separating Jane and Mr. Bingley deepens Elizabeth's dislike for him. Volume 2 the arrival of Mr. Collins, a distant cousin of the Bennett family and the heir to Mr. Bennett's estate, Longbourn, adds further complications. Mr. Collins, a pompous clergyman, proposes to Elizabeth, who rejects him much to her mother's dismay. Meanwhile, the Bennett sisters continue to navigate the intricacies of courtship and social interactions. Elizabeth's friend, Charlotte Lucas, accepts Mr. Collins' proposal, viewing marriage as a practical arrangement despite the lack of affection. Mr. Bingley unexpectedly returns to Netherfield, rekindling his affection for Jane. However, Mr. Darcy's interference initially prevents their reconciliation. Elizabeth's prejudice against Mr. Darcy intensifies when she learns of his involvement in separating Jane and Mr. Bingley. Volume 3. The narrative reaches a turning point when Elizabeth visits Mr. Darcy's estate, Pemberley, with her aunt and uncle. She is impressed by Mr. Darcy's kindness and generosity, which challenges her previous perceptions of him. Meanwhile, news arrives of Lydia Bennett's elopement with Mr. Wickham, a charming but unscrupulous officer. Mr. Darcy, realizing his love for Elizabeth, takes decisive action to rectify Lydia's situation, ensuring her marriage to Mr. Wickham. 
This selfless act earns Elizabeth's admiration and gratitude. The novel's resolution unfolds with Mr. Bingley's proposal to Jane, which is accepted, and Mr. Darcy's subsequent proposal to Elizabeth. Despite initial reservations, Elizabeth acknowledges her love for Mr. Darcy and accepts his proposal. The novel concludes with the marriages of Jane and Mr. Bingley, Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy, and Charlotte Lucas and Mr. Collins, symbolizing various outcomes of love and marriage within the social context of Regency-era England. Through its intricate plot, memorable characters, and sharp wit, Pride and Prejudice, remains a timeless exploration of human nature, societal expectations, and the transformative power of love and self-awareness. Critical Analysis of the Play, Pride and Prejudice Jane Austen, one of the most celebrated novelists of the 19th century, crafted works that provide keen insights into the societal norms, values, and relationships of her time. While she wrote several novels, one of her most famous works is, Pride and Prejudice. Austen's novels often serve as social commentaries, reflecting the manners and mores of the society in which she lived. Pride and Prejudice, is no exception. It critiques the hierarchical structure of Regency-era England, where social status and wealth dictated one's prospects in life. The novel exposes the absurdity of the obsession with class and the pressure to marry within one's social circle. Pride and Prejudice, is set in early 19th century England during the Regency era, a period marked by significant social and political change. The novel reflects the hierarchical structure of society, where social status and wealth determined one's place in the pecking order. The rigid class system meant that marriage was not only a personal matter but also a strategic move to secure financial stability and social standing. The novel also reflects the gender roles of the time, where women were expected to be modest, obedient, and focused on securing a suitable marriage. Elizabeth Bennet, the protagonist, challenges these societal norms with her intelligence, wit, and independence of spirit. Austen subtly critiques the limitations placed on women in Regency-era society through Elizabeth's character and her interactions with other female characters. The backdrop of the Napoleonic Wars provides a political undercurrent to the novel. While the war itself is not a central focus of the narrative, its impact is felt indirectly through the characters and their circumstances. The wartime context influences the social dynamics, economic conditions, and marriage prospects of the characters, particularly young men like Mr. Darcy and Mr. Bingley, who are part of the landed gentry. Although not overtly political, Austen's portrayal of the landed gentry and the aristocracy offers insights into the political climate of the time. The novel subtly addresses themes of power, privilege, and governance, as seen in the interactions between characters like Mr. Darcy, Lady Catherine de Boer, and Mr. Collins, who represent different facets of the upper class. Austen's characters are richly drawn, each with distinct personalities and motivations. Elizabeth Bennet, the protagonist of Pride and Prejudice, is portrayed as intelligent, spirited, and independent-minded. Mr. Darcy, her love interest, initially comes across as aloof and proud but undergoes a transformation, revealing his true virtues as the story progresses. Secondary characters like Mr. Bennett, 
Mrs. Bennett, and Mr. Collins add depth and humor to the narrative. One of the central themes of Pride and Prejudice is the nature of love and marriage. Through the various relationships depicted in the novel, Austin explores the different facets of romantic attachment, from superficial infatuation to genuine affection based on mutual respect and understanding. The theme of prejudice also runs throughout the novel, as characters must confront their own biases and misconceptions in order to find happiness. Austin employs a third-person omniscient narrator, allowing readers access to the thoughts and feelings of multiple characters. This narrative technique enables Austin to offer nuanced perspectives on events and relationships, inviting readers to consider the complexities of human behavior and interaction. Austin's writing is characterized by wit, satire, and irony. She deftly skewers the hypocrisies and vanities of the society in which she lived, often through sharp dialogue and humorous situations. The title itself, Pride and Prejudice, alludes to the character flaws that impede the romantic relationships in the novel, while also serving as a broader commentary on human nature. Austin's prose is elegant and precise, marked by its clarity and economy of expression. She excels in capturing the nuances of social interaction and the subtleties of human emotion. Her use of irony and understatement adds depth to the narrative, inviting readers to read between the lines and discern the true intentions of the characters. Pride and Prejudice follows a linear narrative structure, focusing on the romantic entanglements of the Bennett sisters against the backdrop of their social milieu. The plot unfolds chronologically with events progressing from the arrival of Mr. Bingley and Mr. Darcy in the neighborhood to the resolution of various romantic conflicts. Within the overarching plot, the novel features episodic elements, such as the series of balls, visits, and encounters that propel the story forward. These episodic moments allow Austin to explore different facets of society and relationships while maintaining a cohesive narrative arc. Austin employs third-person limited focalization, primarily through Elizabeth Bennett's perspective. While the narrative occasionally shifts to other characters, Elizabeth remains the focal point providing readers with insights into her thoughts, feelings, and perceptions of the world around her. Overall, Pride and Prejudice stands as a timeless masterpiece of English literature, renowned for its wit, insight, and enduring appeal. Austin's keen observations of human nature and society continue to resonate with readers across generations, cementing her status as one of the greatest novelists in the English language. Themes. Pride and Prejudice explores a variety of themes that resonate deeply with readers and continue to make the novel relevant today. Here's a detailed analysis of some of the key themes. Love and Marriage. Love and marriage are central themes in the novel, explored through various relationships and characters. Austin examines different motivations for marriage, including social status, financial security, and genuine affection. The novel critiques the societal pressure to marry for pragmatic reasons rather than love, as seen in Charlotte Lucas's decision to marry Mr. Collins for economic stability. Through the central romance between Elizabeth Bennet and Mr. Darcy, Austin highlights the importance of mutual respect, understanding, and emotional compatibility in a successful marriage. Social class and status. Social class is a pervasive theme in 
pride and prejudice, shaping characters' perceptions of themselves and others. Austin satirizes the rigid social hierarchy of Regency-era England, where social status and wealth dictated one's prospects in life. The novel explores the consequences of marrying outside one's social class, as seen in the Bennett sisters' struggle to find suitable matches that meet both societal expectations and personal desires. Mr. Darcy's initial reluctance to marry Elizabeth due to her inferior social status reflects the prejudices and snobbery prevalent in aristocratic circles. Prejudice and Misjudgment. Pride and Prejudice, examines the detrimental effects of prejudice and preconceived judgments on individuals and their relationships. Characters such as Elizabeth and Mr. Darcy are initially blinded by their pride and prejudice, leading to misunderstandings and conflicts. Austin underscores the importance of self-awareness and empathy in overcoming prejudice and forming genuine connections with others. The novel's title itself, Pride and Prejudice, serves as a reminder of the character flaws that hinder romantic relationships and personal growth. Personal Growth and Self-Discovery Throughout the novel, Characters undergo significant journeys of personal growth and self-discovery. Elizabeth Bennet learns to reassess her initial judgments and acknowledge her own faults, leading to a deeper understanding of herself and others. Mr. Darcy undergoes a transformation, realizing the errors of his prideful behavior and striving to become a better person worthy of Elizabeth's love. Secondary characters like Mr. Collins and Mrs. Bennett also experience moments of self-awareness and reflection, albeit to a lesser extent, as they confront the consequences of their actions and attitudes. Satire and Irony Austin employs satire and irony to critique the societal norms and values of her time. The novel abounds with humorous situations and witty dialogue that expose the absurdities of courtship rituals, social conventions, and interpersonal dynamics. Austin's keen observation and sharp wit invite readers to reflect on the foibles and follies of human nature, while also entertaining them with the comedic aspects of everyday life in Regency-era England. Overall, Pride and Prejudice, is a rich tapestry of themes that offer profound insights into human relationships, societal norms, and the complexities of personal identity. Through its timeless exploration of love, class, and self-awareness, the novel continues to captivate and resonate with readers across generations. Characterization Pride and Prejudice, features a diverse cast of characters, each with their own distinct personalities, motivations, and complexities. Here's a detailed analysis of some of the key characters. Elizabeth Bennet. Elizabeth is the second eldest daughter of the Bennet family and the novel's protagonist. She is characterized by her intelligence, wit, and strong sense of independence. Elizabeth is quick to judge others based on her first impressions, leading to misunderstandings and conflicts, particularly with Mr. Darcy. Throughout the novel, Elizabeth undergoes significant personal growth, learning to reassess her prejudices and acknowledge her own faults. She ultimately finds happiness through her marriage to Mr. Darcy. Fitzwilliam Darcy. Mr. Darcy is a wealthy and proud aristocrat, initially perceived as aloof and arrogant by Elizabeth and others. He is reserved and introverted, often misunderstood due to his social awkwardness and lack of social graces. Despite his flaws, Mr. Darcy possesses integrity, 
loyalty, and a sense of duty to his family and estate. Over the course of the novel, Mr. Darcy undergoes a significant transformation, learning to overcome his pride and prejudices and becoming more open and compassionate, particularly towards Elizabeth. Jane Bennett. Jane is the eldest Bennett sister, known for her beauty, kindness, and gentle demeanor. She possesses a positive outlook on life and always sees the best in others. Jane's romantic relationship with Mr. Bingley is hindered by misunderstandings and interference from others, but she ultimately finds happiness with him. Mr. Charles Bingley. Mr. Bingley is a wealthy and amiable bachelor who becomes enamored with Jane Bennett. He is kind-hearted, sociable, and easily influenced by others, particularly his sisters and Mr. Darcy. Despite his initial hesitation, Mr. Bingley's love for Jane is genuine, and he ultimately proposes to her, leading to their marriage. Mr. George Wickham. Mr. Wickham is a charming and charismatic officer who initially captivates Elizabeth with his affable demeanor. He harbors resentment towards Mr. Darcy due to past grievances and spreads false accusations against him. Mr. Wickham's elopement with Lydia Bennett exposes his true character as deceitful and opportunistic, ultimately leading to his marriage to her for financial gain. Mrs. Bennett. Mrs. Bennett is the matriarch of the Bennett family characterized by her frivolous and often embarrassing behavior. She is obsessed with marrying off her daughters to wealthy suitors and is prone to dramatic outbursts and hysterics. Mrs. Bennett's lack of social tact and refinement contrasts sharply with her daughter's more dignified behavior, often causing embarrassment and tension within the family. These are just a few of the many richly drawn characters in Pride and Prejudice, each contributing to the novel's exploration of love, marriage, social class, and personal growth. Through their interactions and relationships, Jane Austen offers keen insights into human nature and the complexities of Regency-era society.